think it's just us growing as a band, growing as musicians. Um, Elliot joined the band when we wrote uh, Awakening. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we didn't have him on Witness. And I think since he joined that we've actually steadily improved and the mm -hmm. writing process is, is improved. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, when, when the writing process is a lot better, uh, it's easier to come up with, <clears throat> easier to come up with songs that are better quality, you know, mm -hmm. instead of like before, they would send me just a guitar riff, and I would like on a voice note, you know, on a yeah. phone, and I would just hear a riff and then try to write a melody to it. And now yeah. it's like they send me almost full songs that are finished that I could write oh, to. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, when you were first writing your songs, um, or are you the main songwriter? Uh, I'm the main. I write the lyrics and melodies. Basically. Okay. So yeah, most of the lyrics and melodies, and Elliot and Eric. Who are the guitar players? Mm -hmm. They write the like they structure the songs mm -hmm. and the music. Awesome. It's uh, you know, it's 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 melodic. It's very melodic, but it also um, it has you know, it's heavy parts because we still love heavy music. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we love melody because everyone has to sing along, you know what I mean? I okay, like yeah. That's an important thing, because everyone, uh, you know, the participation for live shows is, mm -hmm. you know, that's everyone great. sings along. So, uh, we've really be built the choruses that are very big, big anthemic choruses. Nice. Yeah. Good. Uh, I think the biggest obstacle with all our records is just basically, you know, coming up with something that's better than what you did last, you know, the last record. And that's mm -hmm. the most important part is, is upping your game, you know, it's just mm -hmm. topping yourself and, all right. and, and try not to repeat too much, you know, from things that you've done before. It's like, you want to keep that sound, you want to keep plus false sound. So the hardest part is just keeping our sound, being honest to mm -hmm. our fans and, and our own sound that we've created. Great. But just coming up with, with new material, you know, you don't want to write, keep writing the same songs over Yes, over. yes. Oh man, uh, it's, I love, I love every song on that record. It's, it, it came out, there's a, there's a lot of times where you'll write an album and one song will kind of slip on in the, in the record and you're like, okay, well, we'll just put it on there. I feel like this record definitely like front to back has, has, um, you know, just every song has its own character and its own something special about it. So it's hard to pick one, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would say just if I had to pick one, I'd say Earthbreaker because we've been playing it live on this tour for the first time, mm -hmm. and um, the reaction has been awesome. So I'm just gonna say that yes. song because of the, because of the general reaction from, okay. from playing it on this tour. Yeah. And you did play it today. Yeah, well. yeah, we played it today. How was the reaction from the people? It was awesome, man. It's I think, especially going after a band like uh, someone like Chelsea Green, who's a very heavy band, mm -hmm. you know, um, the crowd has already heard the heaviest music of the night, mm -hmm. you know, and so then we go on and we just really have to impress them. So it took, you know, a couple songs to really like impress the crowd and, and get them going, but it, uh, I think we did it. All right. It went great. Yeah. Because we're fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's the album itself has a lot of character, and there's a lot of um, kind of ups and downs throughout the record, and, and makes it an interesting listen. Um, it's not just like a single, like one or two singles. It's the whole record that you know. It's a big body of work. Okay. You, can li you almost need to listen to it from beginning from to end back, yeah. to really you know, feel the impact. Mm -hmm. So that's the best part of it is that. It, you know, you can listen to the whole record and not get bored, mm -hmm. not feel like you're listening to the same song that you heard a few songs ago. Mm -hmm. Nice, so many different songs and structures. And yeah, that. and then we really, really work hard and we're very meticulous as far as the, you know, the placement of the songs throughout the, the record. So they flow into each other really well yeah. and you're kind of taken on a journey. You're not just like 10 bangers, you know, 10 like. Okay, okay. So it's very dynamic as well. Very dynamic. Yeah.